What is leaking on here? Is something leaking? I don't know, I think I spilled something. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm super duper excited to finally get this video filmed. It is the September 2019 Boxy Lux unboxing and let me just tell you, filming this has been quite the journey. First of all, this is my third attempt at trying to film this video. Uh, the first attempt, I decided to try to film at home, which was very, very unsuccessful. But then the second time I tried to film, I was in my truck which does not have air conditioning and yeah it looked like my whole face was covered in highlight because I was sweating it was gross I felt gross I didn't want to gross you guys out so now attempt number three I am in Anthony's car which is making a weird noise if you hear it in the background I apologize I do have the air on you're probably most definitely going to hear that no apologies I don't want to start sweating again but yeah let's just stop this rambling I'm ready to get this video filmed and edited and up for you guys so let's just jump into this so this is the box for the boxy Lux for September 2019 and I just want to say it's freaking huge I have received this is my what is this this is my third boxy Lux. boxy charm is a monthly subscription box that you get it's primarily just skincare and makeup sometimes they throw in hair products or other like household things or beauty things but it is basically a beauty subscription box it's $21 a month and then you also have to pay like state tax and then I think some places like Canada charge for shipping boxy Lux is an upgrade so every three months or every quarter slash season you can have the option of getting the boxy Lux box and it is $21 plus $28.99 so essentially $49.99 plus the state tax plus possible shipping and yeah, I think the the guaranteed value for Boxy Charm is over a hundred dollars and the guaranteed value for boxy Lux is over two hundred and fifty dollars if you want more information i will leave in the description box a much better <laughs> description than what i just described now and i will also leave a link so you can click it and it takes you right to like the sign up area for boxy charm um once you become a boxy charm charm member then you can decide to upgrade for the boxy Lux. i think you get put on a wait list and whenever the next boxy Lux is so the next one would be in December that is when you guys will be able to upload upgrade upgrade I don't know again this is the box super weirdly shaped it's very long and you will see why in a few moments so when you open it this is what it looks like on the inside you always get a card and the card tells you what the theme is for this month. This month is the BoxyCharm All Access. I think it has something to do with like the, the New York Fashion Week or whatever. And then it also tells you on the back what all you get in the box and the different prices. Just for reference, I got version 5L. This month has the most variations I have ever seen. I think there were only two items in here that every single charmer is getting. Every single boxy luxe charmer is getting. Everything else I think like you can get like one or two different options. I think one has like three or four different options. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys what all I got. First of all, this box came with an unnecessary amount of plastic and bubble wrap, which I kind of like hurt for the environment for but then also like thank you because none of my palettes came broken which thankfully I've never had a broken palette I know some people have received broken palettes the first thing that I have right here on top is this Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette and you guys this is so 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 pretty Th these shades I swear were made for fall and I just, I am so excited to use them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. They look like they have one, two, three, four, five mattes, and then one, two, three, four, five shimmers. But I heard that the shimmers, if you wet them, they look very metallic. So I'm very, very, very excited about this. I have never used Violet Voss, but I know that Sephora carries them, and I know that they are supposed to be really, really, really good. I don't know what the difference is with their Pro Series versus, like, if they have a different series. So this is... The Violet Voss 
revamped essential shades 29 msrp which i mean this sounds kind of expensive for only a 10 pan eyeshadow palette it's not the largest but I know that the brand is really good. I don't really know. I don't know if that's overpriced or if that's spot on. Someone let me know down below in the comments about this eyeshadow palette. I will be doing a second video where I try these items on, but simply because I'm so over recording just the unboxing, I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Also, I already have makeup on, and no, I did not use this palette. I've not used any of these products except for two and i will tell you which ones they are when i get to them item number two okay you guys i am so so excited about this palette this is the park avenue princess chisel palette by tarte and i love the packaging it reminds me of jackie's new palette that she did with uh anastasia beverly hills this is so pretty i mean when you get the Lux box you're expecting luxurious products and i swear this is so so nice so pretty so this is the front of it it has that snake skin whatever that reptile skin and then oh good i already got a fingerprint on the back and then this is the back it almost looks like a mirror so you guys can see yourself hello uh yeah this is just so cool i love the packaging it's gorgeous um I can get it open. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you get two matte highlight shades, which I don't think are too far off from my skin. This one might be a little bit too warm. This one is kind of a little bit too yellow, but I'll make it work, you know? Then you get four bronzers, which I will definitely have to go very light with these. They're very, very warm. I am obviously very, very pale. These two are matte, but then these two on the outside look like they're shimmer. I don't know if this palette has different variations as far as skin tone. I'm pretty sure this is just what it looks like. So yeah, four bronzers, two like highlight shades. I don't know. I kind of wish that they put an actual highlight, like a shimmer highlight and maybe a blush, but I guess it's a contour palette, not a face palette or something. So yeah, that is item number two. It is MSRP $45. So that's that. Then next I have, okay, there's this. This is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. So this is what this looks like. It is just a liquid lipstick. It's really pretty actually. It's very like a, it's very much like a berry red. I don't know if you guys, if it's focusing, I don't think it's focusing. I have not tried it on my lips. I do think it's gonna be a really pretty color for fall. When I do the try on, I will try this on. This is MSRP $22. All right, I already lost the box to the lipstick, so love that. Next is this Hank and Henry eyeliner pen, and it's in the shade Blickety Black Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. This retails for $20, which that is probably the first thing that sounds excessive. I don't know. I'm having the hardest time finding a good eyeliner pen so maybe i'm just not paying enough so maybe this is exactly what i need and i love how they have this little owl emblem i think that is the absolute cutest so next is the dr brant hydro recovering sleep mask and i guess what you do is you put it on in place of moisturizer at night so i don't know and this also really seems super duper small but supposedly this is a full-size product and listen when you hear the price. This just sounds so insane. Or at least it does for me. I know skincare can be expensive. I know Dr. Brandt is a really big deal. But that retails for $52. I just feel like that's a lot of money for such a small little container of stuff. I might save that and do a giveaway. Or I might just give it to my mom because I know she's looking for some good skincare. And she's not necessarily concerned about whether or not something is cruelty free. Next is this. Oh, this is also skincare. Which I will tell you. This is one of the two products that I have tried. This is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme. Enzyme water cream excuse me by sunday riley who is yet another very expensive very pricey brand and this retails for 65 dollars let me just tell you guys first of all this smells like not great somebody said that it smells like cucumber i don't smell cucumber what this smells like to me which i will show you guys what it looks like it smells like the nori sheets inside 
I think all sushi has it, but like especially the vegan sushi, it, it smells like the, the seaweed, the nori sheets, or like the seaweed chips that you can get at the, um, at the grocery store. I could be wrong, but I swear this smells like sushi, like vegan sushi, which does have like a lot of times avocado, cucumber, so maybe it's a cucumber scent. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like cucumbers. Anyway, I really like this. I have been using this and I have very oily skin. So I was told that a water cream or a moisturizing gel is so much better than like a, a moisturizer, like a lotion. And this feels like it absorbs really well into my skin. I don't feel like I get like that greasy residue and my makeup seems to sit a little bit better. As far as anti-aging and things like that and longevity of moisture, I haven't been using it enough to get that kind of opinion out of it, but I really, really, really do like this product. So yeah, there's that. Then we're down to just, I think two items. This is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm by IGK. Um, I have not had the opportunity to try this yet, but I'm very, very excited. This retails for $29 and is a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down, which my hair is, I've been straightening a lot lately and I've been curling it almost every day. And I am so happy that I got a moisturizing balm because my dead hair definitely needs to be moisturized. I have not had a chance to use it yet. It smells delicious. It has coconut oil in it. Oh, it smells so good and I'm really, really excited. I will keep you guys updated and let you guys know whether or not I like it. So there's that. Did I say MSRP? $29, which honestly, I don't think is that bad. Hair styling products can be really expensive. So can hair styling tools. Um, this is the Sutra Beauty 32 millimeter or one and one quarter clipless curling iron. And I also did try this. This retails for $65, which, like I said, hair styling products can be very expensive. Uh, we just got the PYT blow dryer not that long ago, which I was like, whoa, you know, it's just a hair dryer. How much can it do? And I tried it, and oh my gosh, I love it. I use it every time I dry my hair, whether I am going to have my hair be naturally curly or if I'm going to straighten it. It is amazing. This, however, is by Sutra, and it retails for $65. Let me show you guys what this looks like. I will be 100% honest. I have only used this once. Oh, when you open it, you do get this card. and kind of gives you like a maintenance guide on how to take care of it. On the back, though, there is a boxy 25% off code that you can use at sutrabeauty.com. So that is really nice. I love that. I don't know if I just need more practice with this or what, but I'm not a fan of this, this curling iron. This is what it looks like. I feel like, first of all, it's kind of like thicker than the curling wand that I use at home, which I think is like by Conair or something like that. I, my hair is not curled right now, but I feel like when you try to curl it, first of all, it gets really, really hot. I know, cause I've burnt myself like four or five times with it but I don't feel like it gets hot enough to actually curl your hair. You do not have a heat adjustment, so you cannot turn the heat up or down. My hair was smoking when I was using this, and I was like, oh, okay, I should probably take my hair off. As soon as I undid it, though, like the curl just fell out. When I use my Conair curling wand, I feel like my curls last all day, and sometimes like I can even braid my hair the night after I curl it and then like wake up the next morning, unbraid it and somehow like my curls are still maintained. Not just from like the crimps from being in the braid, but like the braid somehow preserves it. I don't really understand because I would think that the curls would be undone by the braid, but they're not. This, however, <laughs> I curled my hair. I, ha I was done by like at 11.30. I worked 12 to four, so I only worked four hours. By the time I left work, my hair was just almost like hanging. It wasn't even like in curls anymore. It was just kind of like stringy clumps that just kind of hung there. It wasn't the greatest look. And I don't know how I could have left it on any longer because my hair was starting to smoke. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like mess around with this a little bit more before I make a definitive type judgment, I guess. 
but I'm definitely not a fan from first impressions. You guys let me know down below if you've used it and how you like it, and if so, what did you do differently than me? What is leaking on here? Is something leaking? I don't know, I think I spilled something. Anyway, let's add up my prices to see how much my box is worth. I really feel like this box is gonna be worth a lot because of how much some of these prices for these products were. Um, okay, $29 for the Violet Voss eyeshadow, $52 for the Dr. Brandt sleeping mask, $20 for the Blickety Black Eyeliner by Hank and Henry, $22 for the Steal it, Steal it Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, $45 for the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette, $65 for the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream, then $65 for the Sutra Clipless Curling Iron with Cool Tip, then $29 for the Mistress Hydrating Balm. So that makes our total $327. I feel like that's a really good price. I mean, I only paid 50, what was it? I think it was like 52 something once they added in my state tax. I live in Indiana, so I don't have to pay shipping for it to come to my house. But still, I'm going to use all of these products with the exception of the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleep Mask. But yeah, you guys, that is all I have. I am really sorry that this video is not fun. It's not entertaining. It's kind of a heck of a mess. And I don't know how else to have made it be anything other than. I will try this week to get up a second video of me trying all of these products. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, so bye.